Welcome to my channel and to this video where today I will give you an overview of the reasons to move to Italy if you are a retire. First of all, I want to clarify that Italy is not a perfect country and those who have been following me for a while know that in my videos uh, I also highlight uh, the negative aspects of Italy such as crime, the fiscal situation, the fiscal situation and politics. It's always right to make people aware of what uh, they are getting into. I believe that it's essential to find a balance between positive and negative factors. For example, a country may lack public transport, but at the same time be affordable to live in for an American. The perfect country doesn't exist, and finding the right balance can be the best choice. If you are considering moving here, you must be a flexible person and have a lot of patience, you will need it. So if you are a very precise person who gets frustrated, uh, at the slightest system of function, well, my friend, then Italy is definitely not for you. But why can Italy be a great choice for relocation? Let's skip the whole discussion about the good food and the Mediterranean diet that, that everyone already knows. Let's talk more about costs. In recent years, the cost of food products has significantly increased, which is a problem for the local population, but certainly not for someone coming from a, a very expensive economic system like the United States. Assuming you are a lover of good food, typical products and good wine, you should consider that a good budget for two people can be 100 euros a week. It's a decent sum to spend and a good strategy to invest this money wisely. Yes, for me, good food uh, is an investment. Is to divide your shopping. If you want to do things right, forget about going to the big supermarket and buying everything you need there. Large market chains like Conad, Lidl and Ocean are perfect for buying products like water, household products, flour, pasta and rice. But if you want to focus more on quality food and have an excellent quality price ratio, you need to go to local shops, detail shops. You can buy meat from the local butcher, fish from the fishmonger, fruit and vegetables from the green grocer, wine from the wine shop, and cheese from the shop that uh, produces it. Very often the price of uh, products sold in retail shops uh, can cost less than in the supermarket. For example, fruit and vegetable cost 30-40% less and meat often costs less if uh, you booked it uh, from the butcher. Other times uh, it may cost uh, a little more. For example, a good bottle of wine booked in a wine shop may cost more than in the supermarket, but you have to consider that in the retail shop you find a specialized person who can advise you on a testing path and suggest some types of wine that are very in demand at the moment. So in that price increase you are also paying for the expertise of the person. Let's be honest, how much does a decent uh, bottle of Italian red wine cost in your country? Not little, it can reach 40, 60 dollars, while here you can pay 20 euros for a good quality red wine. So in summary, divide your purchase. Now let me talk about uh, the difference between uh, Northern and Southern Italy. Espresso coffee with this view. What else? I interrupt you a few seconds from the video you are watching, not to talk to you about coffee, but about the country where you can drink a good one, Italy. So if you want to discover the advantages of living the Dolce Vita in the Bel Paese, understand the process of buying a house in Italy, you should consider buying this with reward, available on Amazon in the link in the description. Many people decided that 2024 will be the year of their change. Will you be one of them? Climate is uh, distinctly different as uh, in the air quality. Areas like the Po Valley are among the most polluted places in Europe. Not to mention the fog that covers 50% of the sunlight in winter. Northern Italy has a colder and more humid climate. While moving towards the sud, you can go to the sea sometimes even in November. For example, this year I took my first dip in the Adriatic Sea in the first week of April, and surprisingly the water was uh, warm. 
If we are talking about uh, services and infrastructures, uh, Northern Italy is century ahead compared to the Sud. Everything works better there. From healthcare to trains, uh, roads uh, to citizen services, uh, the North is very advanced. Uh, I'll talk uh, in recent years, uh, the quality of the life uh, has been declining, especially in the healthcare sector. In recent years, uh, there has also been a reopening of the price gap between northern and southern Italy, unlike the 70s and the 80s when uh, anything uh, booked in the sud cost uh, three times less. However, prices are dividing, and I say this from my own experience shopping in the north and southern Italy. For example, let's talk about services. A plumber and uh, an electrician cost less here in the sud. Food costs less in the sud if uh, you booked it in retail shops. Uh, large uh, supermarket chains uh, now have similar prices. I can give you an example of a typical haircut. In the Padua area, it cost me about uh, 25 30 euro, while here in the sud, it cost me 10 12 euro. It depends. Another example is pizza. In the north, I pay about 15 euros for a pizza with a truffle cream, while here in the sud, I can pay between 9 and 7 euro. The same price difference can be found in the real estate sector. The average price in the north is much higher. Here is an example based on a similar area with the, the same services. In a country village in the province of Venice, a two-bedroom, one-bathroom apartment built uh, in the 80s but uh, renovated inside uh, cost around uh, 180 to 100,000 euros. Uh, I work it as a real estate agent uh, there, so I know the prices. The same type of apartment in the suit can be booked uh, for 80, 90,000 euro and sometimes uh, even less. So if in your relocation to Italy you seek quality services, uh, higher prices uh, don't uh, bother you and you can tolerate the climate, then the north is the right place for you. If on the other hand you want to benefit from uh, the lower cost, uh, a better climate and a higher quality of life, uh, even uh, if you might have to give up some services services and better infrastructure, then the sud can be the right choice for you. Don't underestimate the climate factor. If you are Swedish, Norwegian or Danish, think carefully before buying a house in the sud. Here in the summer it gets very, very hot. I say this because I know several people from uh, these uh, nationalities who no longer come uh, in summer precisely because of the heat. Small aside. I have analyzed the data of this channel and discovered that 89% of viewers of my video are not subscribed. Think about it, if everyone subscribed, we would have at least 10,000 subscribers. A lot of work and information going to production these videos and by subscribing you will uh, greatly help me grow the channel and reach more people like you might be interested in these topics. Thank you. Let's now talk about safety. It's a very important uh, factor for people and you need to be very careful. By now, crime is increasing all over Europe. It's very dangerous uh, to go to big cities. Uh, thefts and uh, stabbings uh, happen uh, in broad daylight every day. Just last week, uh, some police officers were at so if criminals are not afraid of the police, imagine a normal people. Car thefts uh, happen much more frequently. From Milan to Pescara, the situation is similar. The fact is that the crime that was present in big cities is increasingly moving to small and medium-sized towns. The cause uh, of all this is that the judicial system is ridiculous and a police officer uh, uses force to defend citizens, he risks suspension and uh, a disciplinary action. Here is another example of something stupid that happens here. If a criminal is breaking into your house at night, uh, threatening you, hurt you and you, a private citizen, try to defend yourself and your family, perhaps physically defending yourself against uh, the criminal, and you hurt the criminal, you risk being sued and having to pay damages to the criminal. There is something really sick about uh, this whole system. But how do you prevent all this? I always recommend considering buying a house in more rural areas. For example, I live in a small village of uh, 
310 inhabitants 20 minutes from all services. The fact is that in such small communities, it's very difficult for a criminal to come and steal. Here we are uh, surrounded by woods, and every new car that arrives in the village is identified by the resident, by the population. Everyone knows each other here, and if they see new faces, people get curious and want to understand who you are. I know it sounds uh, a bit crazy, but it has uh, its advantages. Moreover, when uh, you go to large populated uh, centers, don't leave anything valuable in the car. Seems uh, like a normal thing to say, but it's not. All the people uh, that I know who have uh, had gifts uh, left phones and wallets uh, visible in the car. If you walk away, a professional criminal takes 20 seconds to open the car. Well, that's all for uh, this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below and tell me which topic you want to delve into. Thanks and see you soon.